into the founding documents that declared the destiny of a nation? Yes, we can. It was whispered by slaves and abolitionists as they blazed the trail towards freedom. Yes, we can. It was sung by immigrants as they struck out to distant shores and pioneers who pushed westward against an unforgiving wilderness. Yes, we can. It was the cause of workers who organized, women who reached for the ballots, a president who chose the moon as a new frontier, and a king who took us to the mountaintop and pointed the way to the promised land. Yes, we can to justice and equality. Yes, we can to opportunity and prosperity. Yes, we can to opportunity and prosperity. We know that the battle ahead will be long with many obstacles. But always remember that nothing can stand in the way of the power of millions of voices calling for change. We have been told that we cannot do this by a cause of cynics. Those voices will only grow louder and more distinct. We have been, we have been warned against offering the people of this nation false hope. But in the unlikely story that is America, Nothing has ever been false about hope. The hopes and the dreams of the little girl who goes to the crumbling school in Dillon are the same as the dreams of the boy who learns in the streets of L.A. We will remember that there is something happening in America, that we are not as divided as our politics suggest, that we are one nation, one people, and together we will write the next great chapter in America's story with three words that will ring from coast to coast and from sea to shining sea. Yes, we 